External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar's tough message to Pakistan after Pakistan invites Prime Minister Modi or for SHO SEO meet summit. The External Affairs Minister says era of uninterrupted talks with Pakistan is now over. He says actions have consequences. Big actions have consequences. A message coming in from the External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar is what he said pointedly to Pakistan. Listen in. Yep. Can we possibly contemplate uh, with Pakistan? So let me say this. I think the era of uninterrupted dialogue with Pakistan is over. Actions have consequences. And in so far as Jammu and Kashmir is, uh, is concerned, I think 370 is done. So the issue today is what kind of relationship can we possibly contemplate uh, with Pakistan. Uh, Rajiv suggests that perhaps India is content to continue at the current level of relationship. Maybe yes, maybe no. What I do want to say is we are not passive and whether events take a positive or a negative direction, either way, we will react to it. Let me take it to Shashank Mattu, India Today's correspondent, to give us more context to this. Shashank, give us more on that message that he, External Affairs Minister has sent out to Pakistan. Where was this spoken? I think the external affairs minister is trying to send a message that the Indian policy is going to be very, very different from uh, what it used to be just a decade or two ago. Uh, Foreign Minister Jashankar has made it very, very clear even uh, in the 2023 SCO summit that talks and terrorism do not go together. India is not going to accept a policy where uh, Pakistan will continue to sponsor terrorism and will continue to make trouble for India in strategically sensitive parts of the world like uh, Jammu and Kashmir, what we've seen over the last couple of weeks and uh, uh, months in Jammu and Kashmir. India is very clear that you know talks of terrorism don't go together. There's been a lot of conversation in the strategic community over the last couple of weeks and months. Can we do more trade? Uh, can we have more diplomacy uh, with uh, Pakistan and see what both sides can work at together? Uh, Pakistan has made some noises in that regard, but the external affairs ministry is sending a very clear message that uh, as far as India is concerned, um, the idea of uh, talking and um, also tolerating at terrorism at the same time is just not uh, uh, going to be uh, possible. There needs to be a fundamental change in how Pakistan approaches India. If Pakistan wants to see any changes in its relationship, Pakistan has at times said that it wants a closer, uh, wants to focus more on economics with India, less on strategic tensions. But uh, uh, the external affairs ministry here laying out very clearly what the terms uh, will be for India if Pakistan wishes to engage. You know, elaborately speaking, the external affairs minister has very pointedly said that Article 370 is a settled matter. So we are no more passive. These are really strong words said to Pakistan while at a time we're looking at huge number of terror attacks that have been uh, reported from the entire belt in the last few months itself. Unprecedented. Absolutely. And, you know, Pakistan has at various times made Article 370 the marker of where the relationship goes. You've seen, uh, you know, since Article 370 was abrogated, remember in the immediate aftermath of that, Pakistan downgraded diplomatic relations with India. After that, you know, its politicians have periodically said, you know, we will uh, talk to India, but, you know, we need to make clear that Article 370 is something that is a sticking point for us. And uh, Dr. Shahjaka making very clear here that as far as India is concerned, that is something that is not going to be on the table. It's an internal affair uh, for India. India is not going to accommodate Pakistan's sensitivities uh, on something it sees as a domestic issue and frankly it's uh, uh, Shankar, uh, Dr. Jashankar also pointing out that as you were mentioning Nabila uh, sort of alluding to the fact that of course we have had uh, these problems of terrorism with Pakistan in, in Jammu and Kashmir so it is not in any way going to compromise on its policy over the last five years and Pakistan if it wants talks if it wants trade if it wants a closer diplomatic relation with, uh, relationship with India and wants to end tensions it's going to have to keep Kashmir off the table it's, India is not going to change its basic policy that's the tough talk coming from Dr. Jayashankar today in his remarks. Thanks very much, Shashank, for joining us on that.